Carla. Welcome to my channel. I call myself Bound to Be Vintage because I like making books and journals and paper projects with items that I've thrifted. And I share some of these items with you in my thrifty hauls. So today, that's what we're here for, a thrifty Thursday and thrifted treasures haul. Those are two hashtags. The first, uh, thrifty Thursday, is hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. And Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic hosts Thrifty Treasures. Uh, I will leave both of their information down in my description box so you can go over and check out those channels. I also urge you to search with those two hashtags on YouTube so you can find all the people that are participating. You can share in their thrifting adventures. And sometimes they have an Etsy shop or a way to buy um, what they're not going to use. So it's just a great resource. Um, let's go ahead and get into what I found recently. First of all, I'll start with these pretty postcards. My daughter took me to a new antique mall that I had not been to before. I may have shown some other things from that uh, thrift, but I hadn't shown these yet. I just thought these colorful postcards were just really beautiful. I don't have a specific journal in mind for them at this point in time, but I just couldn't pass them up. They were $1.50. And on the back, they say um, Costumes Swiss. So they are unused postcards. So there's that pretty girl. And then this gal with the hat and the necklace. I just think the colors on these are really lovely. That almost looks like a ceremonial costume. And then there's this girl. So we will see what I do with those. But they were they were unique to me. I hadn't seen anything like this before. So um, I grabbed them for the stash. Next up was this folder of Italian stationery. I've always loved this design, this Florentine design with the gold. I know I had some when I was younger. So this was brand new in its package. I just unwrapped it so we wouldn't have to see the glare today. And even the folder itself is quite lovely. I think that the, the folder could be repurposed for um, like a folio. Uh, there's the envelopes and then some stationery. And it has all that gold Florentine detail. Like I said, even the folders decorated, it would be fun to work with. And that was $3, so I thought that was nice for the whole package unused. Then the next thing I found was this old book plate. And I don't remember what I paid for this. It wasn't more than a couple dollars. It says Inez and has this striking black and white woman image. And on the um, packaging, it said it was from the poetical works of Lord Byron. So you can tell how wide ranging <laughs> my taste is in images from the colorful girls to the black and white images of very um, vintage women. The next, I picked up a little haul from um, a, the St. Vincent to Paul's that's not the one I usually go to. I had to run an errand over in that part of town, so of course I had to stop by. And um, they had some really ex inexpensive things in the um, notions. It looked like somebody had just donated a ton of sewing materials. I've never seen so many sewing notions and fabrics and trims and that sort of thing um, as I had this last visit and they had it all organized. So I picked up a few things. Um, I've taken them out of their packages again just to avoid all the glare, but everything was either 99 cents, 89 cents, 79 or 49. And um, most of them were reduced another 25%. Several of them were anyway. So the first thing I got was a package of lace. These two were together and I believe these were 89 cents. And they're, you know, synthetic. They're not antique antique, but I think they're a little bit older. And this one is just so incredibly soft. 
thought the design was really pretty with the scallops on the top and bottom and then the cluster of flowers. It's kind of got that netting, netting background. And I think these will make nice pockets. I'm working on a tall, thin journal that flip flops back and forth. Kind of, you've seen everybody doing those lately while I'm working on one. And I think this will make a good pocket. I was looking for some wider laces. I have a lot of lace, but not really um, many that are good for, for pockets. So that was one batch. And then I also found this one. This one's a lot stiffer, seems a lot more synthetic, but it is pretty. It's more ivory. Again, it's got little scallops top and bottom and that kind of network. And this one has roses with kind of a wreath underneath. And that was 89 cents. Then for 49 cents, there were these two rose appliques. And I kind of have a collection of appliques. I do like using them. I think they're especially pretty when you do a big cluster on the front of a journal or um, like a kind of a snippet roll closing with laces and fabrics. And sometimes I tea dye them if I don't want the bright white. I picked up this trim. It was 49 cents. Um, just something about it kind of reminded me of the past of of cotton pajamas or seersucker dresses or men's shirting. And I'm always a sucker for blue and white anything. So I thought this was a little different than anything I had. It feels like it's a soft cotton. So I picked that up. That kind of says summer to me. I saw this trim. It's a bright blue and very shiny white dots. I think it's probably older. Um, not old, old. I have some more recent trim that's kind of like this. That's black with the white polka dots. But the thread on this is just different. It just kind of makes me think this might be slightly vintage. And I think this one was maybe 99 cents, but it might have been one of the ones that was marked down 25%. And then I find, found two buttons. Very sparkly rhinestones. I like the combination of the oblong gems with the round ones. Again, I think they're a little bit older. Has the address on the back and it does have a zip code, but they do use the old abbreviation for New York. So I think they probably would be vintage. They have that little clip on the back to put the button on. I like that. And it says BGE first in fashion. These were um, each 99 cents. And this I thought was fabulous. This was 79 cents, a really old tape measure. And this just kind of screams Tim Holtz to me. I don't know, I think maybe there's a washi tape that kind of looks like this or something. It looks very familiar to me. So I think somebody has reproduced this the way the numbers are on this. It's quite stiff. but I just think it's fabulous. It's gonna be kind of hard to, to cut this up and use it, but I have a feeling that I will. Then at the Goodwill, I found this um, pack of rubber stamps. They're textile themed, they're by Hero Arts. They were brand new in the package and it's called Textile Prints by Hero Arts. And if you can see the four, there's kind of a Harlequin diamond design and then like a dotted Swiss type design. It almost has a gauzy looking background, then a plaid, and then just kind of a textured, like a woven fabric look. And the stamps are pretty the way they've got them on the back. It almost makes me think I want an ombre um, stamp pad, ink pad to try these with. can see the pattern. And then the last couple of things I have, I think are really special. Um, I have not shown these before. This I picked up with my daughter 
a couple of um, Goodwill bin visits ago. It's been um, a couple times ago that we were there. So I can't tell you exactly what this costs. It's $1.79 a pound. I doubt that this weighs a pound, but um, it's it just was kind of stunning. I saw the bag. It was in this bag. I saw it was lace, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. You can see the the bag itself looks kind of kind of retro. And I pulled it out, and it's just beautiful. And I realized that when I unfolded it, that it is like a like a baby's christening gown. can see the sleeves, the front with the little buttons, and it is just so, so, so long. I didn't realize christening gowns were this long, but I guess that would, you know, look pretty hanging down when you're holding the baby. You can see it has all like the eyelet work on the bottom. So much tuck pleating. And I, I wasn't going to get it because I thought, you know, I just, I don't think I can bear to, to cut this up for, for a junk journal. It's just, it's, you know, it's a baby's christening gown. And then my daughter saw the little piece of paper in here while I was busy looking at the dress. And it says, baptism dress, Oscar Helgerson, 1887 to 1946 in pen. And then in pencil, somebody's written, used at old tees, it looks like, baptism, 1947. When I saw this tag, I just, I couldn't leave it there because um, they say once they take that bin to the back room, that it can go in the landfill or possibly clothing is shipped overseas. And I just, I just didn't want this baptism gown to to meet that fate. So I think I'm going to try to very gently wash it up and I may just try to find a pretty little padded hanger and just kind of hang it somewhere in my craft room or a bedroom or something um, just to kind of preserve it. Cause somebody, somebody went to great care to do that. They had the tissue paper, um, the note, and then the bag. And a lot of work went into making this gown. So. I want to try to preserve it. So I think that was a very special thing. And you just, you don't know what you're going to find at the Goodwill bins. So the baptism gown came home with me. And then the last thing I have, I bought from an Instagram seller. And... Um, it's Chris from Village Artists, and she's going back and getting her business degree. So I know she's selling a lot right now in the summer on Instagram. I don't know um, if she'll cut back when she goes back to school in the fall or not, but she's just a thrifter at heart. So um, I think you'll see sales from her periodically. She's wonderful to work with. I think she has good prices. She's in New Mexico, I believe Albuquerque area. There's a lot of artists there, so she finds just some amazing things in the estate sales that she goes to. So this was one of the items that she had, and it's a few hand-painted and written pages that are on a fairly heavy, almost like a cardboard, and they've just been tied together with this little ribbon. And the artwork, I think, is just beautiful. There are some tiny initials here that I don't know if you can see. It looks like it's an M and an R. So the top is this kind of wheat sheaf. And then there's a poem called A Man's Wooing. And it's all written out. You've got the roses and then I'm not sure what those are. And the tiny little initials again of the artist. And when I flip to this page, I just thought, this just reminds me of um, Edith Holden, the Nature Notes of an Edwardian Lady. 
And yes, amazingly, I got this book for a dollar on clearance. This was years ago when I lived in the Kansas City area. They have half price books and it was on the clearance shelf for a dollar. And at the time, it was before I was a junk journaler, before I even knew how much people loved this book. I just liked the drawings in it, so I picked it up. I have several sort of diary type books. But I wonder what you think. Um, leave me a note in the comments and tell me if you think that there's some similarity between Edith Holden and this, this artist who was maybe perhaps inspired. I'm trying to find a page that's got some of the writing. So let me show you the rest of it. I did try to Google this poem and I, I couldn't find it. So I don't know if it is original or, or not. So there's this one where it looks like pages have been put down. And a more monochromatic drawing. This one is gorgeous with the pansies. I'm not sure why this arch shape. It kind of reminds me of um, sometimes when they showed you how to paint plates or teacups in China painting. They'd have like the edge of a plate so you could see how it would look. So. Perhaps that was inspired by China painting. We have some more roses. And the lettering goes a little bit crazy over here. Just beautiful. I love this one with the woods in a circle with the stream. And then you've got like, looks like carnations and baby's breath at the bottom. And then last, we've got some more pansies. This corner is a little torn. You can see the initials and the ferns. I thought this was just beautiful and then Chris had it for a good price and I just really wanted to own it. Um, how I would probably use this is to scan the images with my scanner, perhaps size them down some, and then put them in a journal that way, which I probably will do in the future because I think this is just a really special piece and, and somebody was, was pretty talented. Well, thank you for joining me today. I um, enjoy bringing these treasures to you. I hope you enjoy seeing them. If you do, please subscribe. I'm getting there. I made it to 50 subscribers. I'd like to thank each and every person who recently subscribed, who subscribed in the beginning. For all of you who come back, um, it really kind of makes my day to know that there is a community of people out there who enjoy thrifting and turning their thrifted finds into junk journals or other pieces of art. So thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.